Hello, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how I make these uh, monkeys. You can hang these on a shelf uh, with both hands. You can hang them in the legs. They can spin all the way around. And as you see, they are able to sit. You can sit them as you want to. These are very popular in Denmark and I won't be sharing a recipe. I will just show you how I crochet these. So this is not a tutorial per se. I'm just showing you how I made these little monkeys. So we are ready to begin. For the materials, I've used this cotton yarn, 100% cotton. It's a fine yarn in a size 2 and I have used about 75 uh, grams in total. You'll need two wires of 30 centimeters and two wires of 15 centimeters for the arms and the legs. Then you'll need some stuffing and a yarn needle and a smaller needle for all the finer things. I have used a crochet hook size 3 millimeters, some scissors, then two safety eyes of 8 millimeters. You can also use 6 millimeters and four pairs of pressure buttons. And you may also need a stitch marker. I will leave a link in the description below for all the materials, but we are now ready to begin. For the hands and feet, we begin with the magic ring. So wrap the yarn around your finger three times. And then we do six single crochet into the ring. And six. We tighten it up and then insert the hook in the first of the single crochet and do a single crochet. Then do another single crochet in the same stitch. Then move on to the next one. Two single crochet in the same stitch. Continue all the way around but the last one so you increase in every stitch all the way around except for the last one and then you should have 11 single crochet when you are done 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so now you continue with one single crochet in every stitch I always cut this first one because this will be the inside. So do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around, round and around until you have 16 rows in total, 16 rounds. So count this one as your first round, this one as your second, this one as your third, and continue with one single crochet in every stitch until you have 16 rounds in total. When you have that, you have one foot or one hand, and you make another three of those, so you have four in total. Now, two of them is for the hands, and we will begin crocheting the rest of the arm. So take your other color, of course you cut your yarn, and then continue working with the new color. Insert your hook and just continue working just in the new color. So do one single crochet in every stitch until you have 40 rows in total, counting from the end right here, all the way until you have 40 rows in total. And I'm working in spirals, so I will be having this little shift, but that's my way of doing it. Continue until you have 40 rows in total. When you finish your arms, we will now begin with the legs. So grab your two feet, or at least one of them, and grab your new yarn, your new color, and pick up the next stitch, one single crochet, and then do another single crochet in the same stitch. Then move on to the next stitch, and increase in this one, so two single crochet in the same stitch. And you continue increasing until you have 20 stitches in total all the way around. So you had 11. 
So you keep increasing until you have 20 stitches in total. So when you have your 20 single crochet in your round, you will now be working one single crochet in every stitch for the next five rounds. So you will do one single crochet in every stitch until you have six rounds in total, counting this one as your first. When you have six rounds, we begin decreasing. When we have our six rows, we will now begin decreasing to do three single crochet. And then we do a decrease, so insert your hook, wrap the yarn around, pull through, stop, go for the next stitch, wrap the yarn around and pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then we do another three single crochet, and another decrease, insert your hook, begin, stop, insert in the next, stop, Yarn around, pull through all. Then another three single crochet. And then a decrease. And I will remove my stitch marker. Then three single crochet. And then a decrease. And we are all the way around, so now I will decrease in every other stitch. So do one single crochet, then a decrease. Then one single crochet, then a decrease. One single crochet, one all the way around until you have a little gap up here we will not be working any further from here we will only keep this to get our wire in and stuff the leg so cut your yarn leave a long tail that's important. And pull your yarn through and do the other leg. When we've made both the arms and the legs, we will now insert the wires. So grab your wires and you bend them on the middle. Just like that, on all four of them. Then you take one of the long ones and insert in your arm. All the way to the bottom. And this is how it will bend. But now you grab your, your small needle. And I want to... Um, to fasten the wire inside so this will become flat up to here so what I do is that I take a piece of yarn and I roll it a bit and split it it has four threads this one so I split the yarn so it becomes really thin and then I thread it on my needle and I do this to get exactly the same uh, color. You can also use another thread if you don't like splitting the yarn. But now I attach it in the on the bottom part of the hand right here. And then I sew it all the way up through both layers. Whoops. So I lost it, sorry. I will attach it again. See, mistakes happen for everyone, even though I have made 200 of those little hands. I think this is secured. That's it. 
So then, through both layers, then in the next row, insert through both layers, all the way up until here, on the one side, after that, you go over here and do it again all the way down, so this becomes flat. When this part is nice and flat, we will now stuff the rest of the arm. So I grab a bit of stuffing, not a lot, because I don't want to stuff it that much, I just want to have it a little volume. So I will take my scissors and stuff this all the way down here. Just a bit. Then a little bit more. And you have to be careful not to put too much in at a time because then it will get lumpy and it's hard getting it out again. So just a bit at a time. And this is much easier. So now I'm all the way up here. And I just need a little bit more. When I'm almost done, I only need a little bit more. I will grab my crochet hook and just decrease a bit, not much. Just a couple of stitches. I don't want to do all the decreasing with my tapestry needle. I think this becomes a little bit more pretty. So that's it. Three decreases and then pull the yarn through. Then it needs a little bit more stuffing on top. And again, it's important that you don't stuff it too much on top, but you need to stuff it enough. So the arm becomes hard and it stays as it should. I think this is just about right. You see already there's too much and then that's just just enough. So then grab your yarn needle and we will close it up with the tapestry needle the rest of the way. So I will insert my hook in every stitch from the outside and in and pull a bit for every time. And at last I will hold it. Are you able to see anything up here? That's it. So now it is closed up and I will weave in the end. And do exactly the same on all the others. Insert the wires, make it flat down here with the blue yarn and stuff it and close it up on top. The same with these guys. After that part, I will now attach the snap buttons. So we need to attach one uh, snap button on each part and I'm using the flat ones for this. So let's begin with a leg and I will use my off cuttings for the sewing and I will split the yarn. And now we want to attach this snap button on the side of the, of the leg and I'm choosing the one side with the um, shift of the yarn because this one will be on the inside so this one won't be noticeable. Place the snap button on the side of the leg and then I attach my yarn, secure my yarn to the leg and then I sew on the snap button. Just a couple of stitch, whoops, mm -hmm. sorry, just a couple of stitches in every gap. And this is how it looks like when it's attached. 
now you attach one on every part and on the arms I also make sure that it's the side where the ugly uh, attaching of the yarn is. So now we will bend them. I will bend all of them forward. So I grab one and I just bend the arm and the other one make sure they are pointing in these ones and now the arms are ready to be snapped on the body and you do the same with the legs bend them do this right the first time if you have some tough wire and that's it the legs are now also ready to be snapped on the body So let's crochet the body. We begin with a magic ring. Six single crochet in the ring. Four. And six. And tighten it up. So now you have six single crochet and we will increase so insert your hook in the first one and single crochet two in the same stitch and the next one two single crochet in the same stitch continue all the way around until you have 12 stitches in total in this second round when you have 12 in the next round we do one single crochet and then we do an increase so two single crochet in the same stitch one single crochet and then two single crochet in the same stitch so one increase continue all the way around one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet until you have 18 stitches in total when you finished your third round you have 18 stitches and we will now increase until we have 24 stitches so now we do two single crochet and then we do an increase so two single crochet in the same stitch if you're having problems tracking where the round begins you can use a stitch marker just mark the first stitch of the round two single crochet then an increase, continue all the way around with two single crochet, then an increase until you have 24 stitches in total. For the next round, we will do three single crochet. One, two, three, and then an increase. So for this round, three single crochet, then an increase, three single crochet, then an increase, and we should have 30 stitches when we're done with this round. And then in the final round, we do four single crochet, whoops, two, three, four, oh my god, that's it, and then an increase. Continue all the way around until you have 36 stitches in total and then we're done increasing. So now when we have the, the 36 stitches we have the size that we want. So we will now stop increasing and we will do one single crochet in every stitch. So just keep crocheting one single crochet in every stitch and you continue until you have 11 rounds in total. So this one counting as your first one, your second, your third and so on until you have 11 rounds in total just one single crochet in every stitch when you reach your 11 rows or rounds we will begin decreasing so first we do five regular single crochet one two three four and five and then for the next one we will do a decrease so insert your hook in the next stitch yarn over pull through then stop and move on to the next stitch yarn over pull through 
Now we have three loops on the hook, so we yarn over and pull through all three of them. Then we do another five single crochet and then another uh, decrease, sorry. Continue all the way around with five single crochet, then a decrease, five single crochet, then a decrease. And you should be at 30 stitches in the round when you're done with this round. And after this, we are already beginning to see the decrease. So now we'll do two rounds of single crochet. So one single crochet in every stitch for two rounds. And we're now seeing the body forming. We will now decrease a bit more. So now I will do nine single crochet and then a decrease. We are at 30 stitches around right now. Now we will do nine single crochet, then a decrease, then nine single crochet, then a decrease and so on. And we should have 27 stitches when we're done with the next round. And that's it. Then we will do three rounds of single crochet. So just one single crochet in every stitch for the next three rounds. Then we will decrease some more. We will do five single crochet. Two, three, four, five, and then a decrease. So two single crochet together. Then five single crochet. Then two single crochet together. Then five single crochet. And then two together. So we are slowly closing it up for the next two rounds or for six decreases I will do five uh, single crochet then a decrease five single crochet then a decrease five single crochet then a decrease until you have done six decreases so right now we are not really working in rounds we are just working in decreases because I'm working by feel and there's no real pattern I'm not doing this by the book I'm just showing how I usually do you can follow or not So that's it. I think it has decreased enough right now. I want a bit of a neck, so I will work two rounds-ish of single crochet. So just one single crochet in every stitch. I will keep the camera on right now because let's see how it goes. So when I work in rounds, I just work around ish because again I'm doing it by feel. And I know that's not helping you guys, but this is not a tutorial per se. I'm just showing you how I usually do, and this is how I do. Now it feels right in my hand, so I think I'm about to have the right size. Yep, I think the body is almost done right now. <laughs> 24 rows. And I'm at how many stitches? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 stitches. I will do a decrease. And crochet two. And now we need to leave a gap big enough for the stuffing. So I will grab my stuffing. And stuff the body. I won't stuff it too tight. I don't think that's pretty if you see the stuffing coming out of the small holes. So 
also just enough to keep it in the right shape. Then I'll close it up so it decreases. So just two single crochet together. Then leave a long tail because you will need this yarn to attach the head when it comes to that. Pull the yarn through. And I think it needs a little bit more of stuffing. Just so the head doesn't tilt. It is secured and stays put when you attach the head. And that's it. So with your tapestry needle, you close up this gap. And then you're done with the body. For the front piece of the head, we begin with a magic ring. And do six single crochet in the ring. Then tighten it up. And now insert your hook in the first single crochet. Do another single crochet. Insert the hook in the same stitch where we just did the single crochet. Do another single crochet. So this was an increase. In the next stitch, you inc increase as well. And keep increasing all the way around. If you need to use a stitch marker, then do it. Just insert the stitch marker in the first stitch so you remember where to start and where to finish. I have made a lot of these, so I don't have to anymore. When you have 12 stitches, we begin the next round. You do one single crochet. And in the next stitch, you do an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. Then one single crochet in the next stitch. Then in the next stitch, you do two single crochet. So insert your hook in the same stitch where you just did the single crochet and do another. In the next one, one single crochet. And then two single crochet in the next one. Continue all the way around until you have 18 single crochets in total. When you have 18 stitches, you move on to the next round where you do two single crochet. And then in the third, you do an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. Then two single crochet. Then an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. Continue that way all the way around and you should have 24 stitches when we are back here. When you have 24 stitches, we begin the next round where we do three single crochet. And then we do an increase, so two single crochet in the same stitch. So three single crochet, then an increase all the way around until you have 30 stitches in total. So now we have 30 stitches all the way around and we want to have 35. That is the size we want. So for the next um, round, we will do four single crochet to begin with to follow the pattern for a flat circle and then an increase in the fifth then four single crochet then an increase so two single crochet in the same stitch and do that three times more so you only increase five times in in this row so now we have our 35 stitches and we don't want to increase anymore because this is the size we want our head to be. So now you just continue with single crocheting until you finish your round. You see down here where the round begins. Just stop over here. So that will be around 
for single crochet you need to do. And after this we're done with our front piece of the head. So now you cut your yarn and you don't need a long tail for this one. You pull your yarn through and this end you weave in. Just pull it tight and then weave it in so you don't have this little bump. So when you're done with your front piece of the head, this one, you weaved in your ends on the back side, you will now make the, the back side of the head and you'll do one exactly like this one, uh, increase like we did and end up with 35 stitches around. But when you got this, you will com continue with single crocheting around and around with 35 stitches until you have 12 rounds. So we have six rounds on this one. So you continue for six more rounds with 35 stitches round and around until you have a back piece of the head looking like this. And we will now attach the front piece on the back side of the head. So you will have a finished head. So I just completed the 12 rounds on the back side and I will now take the front panel and put on top of this back one. Then I insert my hook in the next stitch, sorry, in the next stitch on the back panel and through one stitch on the front panel. Then I yarn over and pull through all layers on the needle. All right. So now insert the hook in the next stitch on the back panel and in the next stitch on the front panel. Then yarn over and pull through all the layers on the needle. The next stitch, insert your hook on the back panel and then the front panel. Grab the yarn, pull through all the loops on the hook. So now you see the two pieces are being connected, being attached to each other. So insert your hook in the next stitch and through the front panel, yarn over, pull through all, all the way around until you got a gap that's just big enough to stuff the head. So grab your stuffing and don't stuff it too tight. You still want the, the front part of the head to be flat. So just enough to make it round on the back side and flat on the front side. little more right here. So when you're satisfied, you continue the rest of the way and close it up completely. When you completed that, you weave in this end and again pull it side and then weave it in so it won't be noticeable. So now we'll begin the, I don't know, um, English is not my first language. This part, I don't know what it's called, but we will begin this part right now. <laughs> Sorry. And we begin with a magic ring. So wrap the yarn around your finger three times and do six single crochet in the ring. Wrap it up. Insert your hook in the first single crochet and do an increase. So first one single crochet, then insert your hook in the same stitch, do another single crochet, and that's an increase. So in the next stitch you also increase. So when you're done with this round, you have 
12 stitches so you increase in every stitch and you go from six single crochet to 12 single crochet And the next one, you do one single crochet and then go for the next stitch where you do an increase. So one single crochet, then insert your hook in the same stitch, do another single crochet, that's an increase. Then do one single crochet, then two single crochet in the next stitch. When you're done with this round, you should have 18 stitches in total. So one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, all the way around until you have 18 stitches in total. Now we have 18 single crochet and we move on to the next round where we do two single crochet and then an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. Another two single crochet and then an increase. We are now at 20 stitches in total. And we only want to make one more increase. So we do two single crochet and then an increase. And that's it for the increase. We only want a piece this large. So now one single crochet in every stitch. We do not increase any further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds in total. So counting from this one, you will continue with one single crochet in every stitch until you got eight rounds in total. When we have eight rounds, we're done with this piece. We leave a tail and cut the yarn. Go through and weave in your end. And we now begin the head piece or the, the eye part, this one. So you begin with a slip knot. So make a ring, take the long end of the yar yarn behind the ring and grab it with your hook from the middle. Then we do 10 chains. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then begin from the second stitch, the second chain, insert your hook and single crochet. Do one single crochet in every chain all the way across for all nine chains. We skip the first one, so you have nine left. One single crochet in every chain. When we're at the end, we do another single crochet in the same chain and another in the same chain. So in the final one, three single crochet in the same one. Then by chaining, by uh, stitching in the same chain, we move around the corner. So we turn it and then begin working on the other side of the chain. So insert your hook in the first stitch first chain, do a single crochet, then in the next one, single crochet and continue all the way to the other end with one single crochet in every chain on the other side. So we work on both sides of the, of the chain. In the end, you do one single crochet in the final one and another and then in the first stitch over here on the other side the first stitch you did you do two single crochet in the same stitch and then work all the way 
down the other side with one single crochet in every stitch. until we are at the this one just before the final one we do two single crochet in this one and in the final one we do two single crochet and in the first one on the other side we also do two single crochet in the same stitch just to turn a nice corner around here just to make a nice round and then one single crochet all along the other side of the cape. And again, this is just how I do it. I don't know if that's right or wrong or if there's an easy way to do it. This is how I do it. And mostly I do it by feel. So if I think it needs another single crochet in the same stitch just to turn, then I do it. I want it to be a little bit wider, so I do another um, rounding right here. So in this one I do two single crochet. And again two single crochet in the next one. I really hope you're able to follow me. Or at least understand it. In this final one I will do one single crochet and then I think it's it's pretty even. So I will cut the yarn. I will leave a bit of a tail for this one. Then pull it through. And then I weave in this end. And you see these holes, these small gaps in the middle. I sometimes uh, weave in the end just on top of these on the back side. So they, say, so they aren't visible on the front side. So take your tapestry needle, weave in this one. Just pull it tight so it's not no noticeable and then weave in just uh, like this all the way on top of the gaps. Now we have completed all the parts for the head and are ready to attach them. So grab your eyepiece and your safety eyes and insert your eyes through the piece. Then go ahead and split some light blue yarn. And we will now attach the eyepiece to this uh, head. I won't be um, securing the safety eyes on the back side because then the eyes eyepiece will do like this. And I don't think that's very nice. Um, and the babies aren't supposed to play with this anyways because of this there is wire coming out if you're play with it, <laughs> playing with it so this is only for to look at so now i will insert these into the head i'm using the needle I will just adjust this, sorry. So, now we will fasten the yarn. And then make a seam all the way around the eyepiece until it's attached to the head. Just all the way around. When we are all the way up here, I will insert the needle and pass it all the way through because we will be attaching this one now. So just all the way around until here we need to have a little gap because we will stuff it. 
So when we're almost around, we will stuff this. Not a lot, just to keep it in shape. And then finish up the rest with your needle. And now we're almost done with our head. And that's it. Now I secure the yarn. Yep, that's the head. Now we'll attach the head to the to the body. Okay, I'll get a smaller needle. That's better. And then you just fasten the head on the body. So just sew all the way around. Now we have completed the body and the head attachment and we will now attach the snap buttons to the body so the arms and legs can snap right on. So place the snap button on the side Split some yarn in the same color and sew it on. When we have attached all the pressure buttons, I will now attach the belly. And I haven't showed you how I crocheted the belly, but I think I won't have to because you will just follow all the all all the other instructions on how to begin. You will begin with a magic circle where you do six single crochet, just all the other and then increase in every stitch until you have 12 and then increase so you have 18. Just follow the, the instruction for this one or the back or whatever. So just 18 single crochet, three rounds, and then find a fitting place in center of the belly on the pot bottom part and then sew this on. Just make an invisible seam all the way around. And then we're ready to attach the arms and the legs. And we will just snap them on. And that's it. Now we have our little monkey and it's able to sit. That's not easy to see and you can hang it from a shelf or something. I know you didn't find the tutorial easy to follow but I hope you found it helpful anyways. Um, you are welcome to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you again soon.